Hey everybody, I'm here at the CNN YouTube debate in St. Petersburg, Florida, standing here in front of the Mahaffey Theater. Behind me you can see the marina, which is right next to the theater. The Republicans are going to have their debate here tonight. Everyone's very excited. I talked to some of the YouTubers that Google has flown down here to St. Petersburg to experience the debate. Here's what they're expecting. Um, I'm just, I actually haven't picked my candidate yet. I don't know who I'm going to vote for. So I'm really excited to see all the candidates and see how they answer the questions so that I can make my choice for the president of 08. I, uh, I've laid about 100 bucks that we're going to get a snowman question tonight from Mitt Romney. Um, so I'm, I'm working on that and if I win, uh, I'm buying at the after party. I'm curious to see what the 30 second candidate videos are going to be like because last time they were a little, little lacking, I think. This is one of those opportunities where a lot of people never get this chance. When you post a video on YouTube, you never expected this outcome because a lot of people view it as pretty pretty unique for someone of my standings to come out here and do something like this to get a lot of people to understand what's going on. I'm expecting some hot and heavy questions. Uh, I'm sure the Hillary's have planted uh, some questions here and CNN's planted some questions. I feel very strongly that there is a bias in the press, but no, I, I, I absolutely trust that they'll pick the best questions to be chosen for this debate, yes. Uh, I, I think it, it'll probably change the debate. I mean, it all, I think it all comes down to ratings at the end, but I think I think this is a much better way to do it, at least in conjunction with the current way that most debates go. The questions are from people, even though they may be sifted and, and plucked and, and hand-chosen by the elite or whoever you want to call them, I th the fact that they are by the people, I think, makes it fundamentally different. When someone's actually looking at you with their problem and their situation and asking you what you're going to do for them, I think you're going to get a different kind of response. It's making politics accessible to people, and especially people of, of our age group. I think if you can bring it to them, it's one of those, if you build it, they will come kind of things, and it seems to be working. Let's have some fun. You know, let's go see what the Republicans have to say tonight and how they handle uh, actually interacting with citizens. It's new to them, so we'll see how they handle it. I hope I can stay awake until the end. Not that politics is boring. I just haven't had much sleep.